how sulfur salazine acts so first of all let us see what is the structure of sulfur salazine so sulfur salazine is a sulfonamide with a large structure you can observe this is the structure of uh, sulfur salazine and one of the important moiety in the structure is the sulfonamide moiety so sulfur salazine is found classically classified as a sulfonamide and now this sulfonamide moiety is attached to a heterocyclic ring system here that is the pyridine so pyridine is attached by second position so the name of this uh, side chain is pyridine 2 ile and similarly another aspect of this structure of sulfur salazine is the salicylic acid now this salicylic acid is present on the other side of this sulfur salazine and this salicylic acid and the sulfonamide are attached by one of a linkage which is made up of the two nitrogens which is very important for the action of this drug now this linkage is nothing but the H-O bond between the sulfonamide moiety and salicylic acid moiety. In this way, sulfur salazine is a sulfonamide with an extra salicylic acid which is connected to the para portion of the benzene sulfonamide by H-O linkase. How it acts? Sulfur salazine is one of a prodrug which should be activated when it is administered into the body. So whenever the sulfur salazine is administered, it is poorly absorbed and whatever the absorbed sulfur salazine is again secreted into the colon where it is metabolized to produce its active metabolite. So sulfur salazine, 90% of the drug reaches to the colon where it is going to be split into the two components. One of them is the sulfur pyridine and another one is the 5 amino salicylic acid. So, sulfur pyridine, one of the important moiety released from the sulfur salazine, is acting like an antibacterial. On the other hand, 5 amino salicylic acid produce anti inflammatory action. So, among these two moieties, 5 amino salicylic acid has proved more beneficial because of its anti inflammatory action. Sulfur pyridine, which is released into the colon, can also be absorbed to some extent into the systemic circulation where it reaches into the blood. On the other hand, 5 amino salicylic acid, because of its polarity, it cannot be absorbed further and it is mainly excreted into the fishes. In this way, sulfur salazine is split into the two components, sulfur pyridine plus 5 amino salicylic acid. You can see the structure of the sulfur salazine. Now it is having the two components. Here, the HO bond is going to be cleaved to give the active metabolites of the sulfur salazine. Now, when it is going to be splitted, it releases the two components. So, one of the components is the 5 amino salicylic acid. You can observe that the carbon bearing the carboxylic acid is given the first number, thereby, amine group gets the fifth portion. So, 5 amino salicylic acid is one of the important metabolite that is released from the sulfur salazine. And the other part of the sulfur salazine is the sulfur pyridine because it is a sulfonamide with a pyridine structure. So, it is a sulfur pyridine. Now, this cleavage of the sulfur salazine is mediated by the gut flora, what are the bacteria present in the gut wall. So, these bacteria present one of the enzyme. HO reductases which will cleave the sulfur salazine into the 5 amino salicylic acid and sulfur pyridine. Here, 5 amino salicylic acid produces anti inflammatory action, and sulfur pyridine also proves some beneficial action in case of rheumatoid arthritis. What are the possible mechanisms? Still, the exact mechanism by which this sulfur salazine acts is not clear, but many of these mechanisms are proposed by which the sulfur salazine can produce anti inflammatory action. So, the first one it can inhibit the COX synthesis, cyclooxygenase synthesis, thereby it inhibits the production of the prostaglandins. 
prostaglandins are the one of the important inflammatory mediators responsible for the inflammatory reactions. And second proposed mechanism is that the active metabolites of the sulfur salazine can inhibit free radicals and they can act as the free radical scavengers. So these drugs can also show some antioxidant like activity so that they are going to decrease the free radicals within the body. And third type of mechanism is these metabolites can also affect the immune cells thereby they inhibit the production of the cytokine and other antibodies. In this way the various mechanisms are proposed by which the active metabolites of the sulfur salazine can produce anti-inflammatory activity as well as anti-rheumatoid activity. Sulfur salazine as enteric coated tablet. Sulfur salazine can also be given as an enteric coated tablet. So when it is given as an enteric coated tablet, the release of this drug in the stomach is not observed because of the enteric coating. So the drug is mainly released in the intestine and then it is going to reach to the colon where it is going to be cleaved into the 5-MNO salicylic acid and sulfapyridine. What is the advantage of these enteric coated tablets? The main advantage of these enteric coated tablets is to decrease the gastrointestinal side effects of the sulfur salazine. So sulfur salazine can produce the immediate uh, gastrointestinal discomfort which can be prevented by enteric coated tablets. But at the same time, the enteric coated tablets will decrease the further bioavailability of the sulfur salazine. Sulfur salazine is already poorly absorbed and it's having somewhat less bioavailability and by enteric coating the bioavailability is further reduced. What are the side effects of the sulfur salazine? So sulfur salazine mainly produce gastrointestinal side effects. The important one is the nausea which can lead to the vomiting in the patients and stomach upset which is immediately observed in the patients with some stomach pain as well as abdominal discomfort. All these gastrointestinal side effects can be minimized by enteric coated tablets. And second type of side effect is the allergic side effects. So sulfur salazine can produce the skin rashes and sometimes it can also produce one of the important uh, side effects like the Steven Johnson syndrome which is rarely observed in the patients treated with the sulfur salazine. So these allergic side effects like the skin rashes and other side effects are mainly due to the sulfonamide moiety present in the sulfur salazine. So if any patient is allergic to the sulfonamides, they should not be prescribed with the sulfur salazine as it can also produce the allergic reactions like the sulfonamides. Another side effect produced by the sulfur salazine is the hemorrhagic side effects. So sulfur salazine can produce the hemolytic anemia, a granulocytosis and even it can produce other types of anemia like the megaloblastic anemia, aplastic anemia. All these anemic conditions are because of again its effect on the folic acid synthesis. So it is a as it is a sulfuramide, it inhibits the folic acid synthesis, which can lead to the hemorrhagic side effects. Other side effects of sulfur zelazine include headache, dizziness, and fatigue. Where the sulfur salazine is used? Sulfur salazine is mainly used in the inflammatory bowel disorder. Particularly, it can be used in one of the condition ulcerative colitis. This is a condition where there is an inflammation in the colon along with the ulceration within the colon. And another inflammatory bowel disorder is the Crohn's disease, which also lead to the rectal bleeding as well as diarrhea as few of the symptoms with inflammation in the colon. So in these two conditions, the sulfur salazine can be used. And another important use of this sulfur salazine is the disease modifying anti rheumatic drug. So, this is one of the drugs which is going to modify the disease state in the rheumatoid arthritis and can improve the symptoms in the rheumatoid arthritis and can relieve the joint pains in the patients. So, in the treatment of the rheumatoid arthritis, sulfur salazine preferred as an enteric coated tablet as it reduces the gastrointestinal side effects. So these are the two important use of the sulfur salazine. So sulfur salazine is a product which is mainly converted into 5-MNO salicylic acid and sulfapyridine.
both are having its own actions to produce uh, anti-inflammatory effect and they are used in the inflammatory bowel disorder as well as in the treatment of the rheumatoid arthritis.